Welcome back to Sunstar Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're gonna play Colonials Program. This is a game about a robot managing the needs of your colony. We're gonna be focusing on building machines and harvesting different elements. This is kind of like a cross between a resource management or like factory chain building game and a colony building game. Uh, there are going to be different missions in which you have objectives like get enough food for the colonists or get the specific resources. Each mission is played on a very small map because a big part of the game is space management. Essentially, different factory buildings have to be in the right position in regards both to each other and to the map itself. For example, drills have to be in the right spot of the map. And the supply hub needs to be right next to a factory so that you can send out the goods there. So you're going to be have to try to figure out how to use the space you have and create the right combinations of factories. So there's a lot of puzzle-like elements that maybe are not so typical in uh, colony builders or factory management games. All right, I think that was enough introduction and let's begin. We're going to start a brand. Actually, we're going to continue because I've only done the tutorial. So we can now do the first mission. Objective is going to be to get enough power. We're going to talk more about how to do that later. Now we're playing a robot, so we're going to start out by launching our first mission, and then every once in a while we can go and talk to our robot. Boot up sequence, engaged, speech function, testing, output, hello world. Oh, hello, so you can talk after all. I have been waiting for you. Foreign object appear sentient. AI will analyze the foreign object. Analysis proceed. Hey, I am not an object. My name is Mimi. I am your assistant. Don't treat me like a mindless object. AI has a self-learning algorithm installed. AI must collect data on surroundings to learn. Of all the things you could study, Countless stars to explore, colonies to be built, things to discover. You decide to analyze me? AI will refrain from analyzing the foreign object, Mimi. Good. Wait, I just said. Ending sequence engaged. <laughs> Sounds like a very interesting story between our beautiful robots. All right. So we gotta accomplish the missions that we have over here. There are different resources in this game. Uh, they have really unusual names. For example, Iron here is called Inda. There's supposed to be a setting where you can change the name to the normal one, like Iron and things like that. However, I wasn't able to find it in the setting, but I had re have read in an update that they did it. So maybe by the time you play it, if you choose to play it, we're gonna be able to do it. Now we could also destroy some of the areas. So we have to acquire power. In order to gain power, we're gonna need to drill iron, which, or I, oh, sorry, coal, or I could as it's called here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a drill. So I'm gonna build it over here. Now the drill needs power. You give it power by using a capacitor and the capacitor gives uh, power in this sort of like a cross area. Now we don't have power, so notice we're running out of it. So we need to build a generator, which we're gonna place over here. And next to the generator, we need to have a supply hub so that we can give it the coal that it needs to be able to give us the power. So you can see we're moving up in the power again. It's the, the first mission is fairly easy, but as we're going to progress, we're going to move a little bit further. We also have maintenance, depending on how many um, machines or factories you have, you're going to be using iron or inda. Uh, you can also get Inda from here, but we don't actually need it in the first mission itself. We should have enough Inda to get 900 power before we run out of tutorial. But obviously I could build a drill over here and then I could give it a capacitor to give it some energy. All right. It's just tutorial, so we're gonna skip the right. So we can see that now we're gaining iron over here. We're also gaining coal. We do not have any production when it comes to sand or moisture. It's going to be important later on when we want to get food for people and things like that. This, like I said at the start, this game is very much about like managing your space and has a lot of like puzzle-like elements because you have to place this thing right. These silos and the the capacitors they have like this area of like a cross around them and it can be quite difficult to place it in the right place because you don't want to place too many capacitors or too many silos because they take away your space and your maintenance. All right, so we finished our mission. Nice work out, nice work out there. 
AI collected useful data. AI would like to continue exploration. That's great. I am very happy to hear that. But you'll face many obstacles along the way. We barely got started. In fact, how long did we take to travel here? Time elapsed 7,481 years. We were asleep for that long? Affirmative. AI is very precise. AI has traveled for 7,481 years, 298 days, 18 hours. Alright, I get it. The time we spent so far is rather insignificant. Looks like there is a long way to go still. You can also chit chat with her, so let's do it after the mission. Alright, for our next mission. Objective, keep human colonists alive. Correct. You'll have to do this a lot in the future. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. We don't want to die. You might build an interstellar empire one day. AI will analyze human colonists. Analysis. Weak. Delicate. Inferior. AI may reinforce humans with Inda collected. <laughs> Makes humans sturdy. Survivability increased. No, don't do that. No, 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 no. What? Are you serious? The loss of robotics forbid us from harming humans. <laughs> yeah, first law of robotics. Affirmative. That's reassuring. I am not sure where these humans even come from. We are everywhere. Or their purpose for that matter. Human colonists are clones from far away planet. Codename Lura. Clones? Interesting. Makes you wonder, huh? Makes you wonder what? Makes you wonder what? Build me my planet. I am a human and I want to live. And you do all the work. Alright, so we need to get 300 Inda or Iron and 600 Power. So, we should start with the drill to try to get... Um, wait, what, what does this do again? A so Aircore gives you both electricity and uh, supply. So if we were to build something here, we'd be able to get a uh, sand, but I don't think we need sand. So we're going to start by getting some power. So we're going to place this over here and we're going to place a capacitor like so. And we need a generator, which we want to place maybe right next to this. So this should give us the supply to the generator. So we're gaining power. Now, in order to obtain a colonist, oh, it doesn't actually tell us. Interesting. Because we're going to need some like water and sand, but it, I thought it was going to tell us here. Apparently it doesn't. Well, regardless, we're going to drill to get some Inda. Uh, we're going to place it over there and build a capacitor here in the middle so that we can get a lot of these. We're still gaining power, though not much. So we're gaining Inda, we're gaining things. I would also like to build a drill to gain... Wait, not a drill, but extractor to gain sand. Are we, we're still gaining energy, good. Now here we could build a cultivator, which produces lun, which is seed, steel, soot, and oil. Huh. And then we can get food from, not sure. To produce water, you'll need uh, moisture, build an extractor over a spawn. Okay, so now no, it's telling us, okay, good. It kind of left us hanging a little bit. I did it in my test game, but I played the test game like over two weeks ago. So I was like, wait, what? All right, uh, we're going to build uh, this thing here and we're going to build another capacitor to connect up. Build a factory. Factory converts moisture into water. We'll do it in a moment. Presumably factory is going to need... It's going to need everything. So we want to have it next to an AI core, but we're not going to do it just yet because we need a generator first. Where's my generator? Here? Do we want to build it next to some sort of a supply hub? We don't really have a supply hub. Build it there then. We need to build a supply hub here. Now we do have capacitor and supply hub. So what I could do is I could grab my factory and I could build it here. And it's going to get energy from this capacitor and supply from that thing. To produce oxygen, you'll need Tsa or Sen. Build an extractor over at Sapit. I already did that. Build another factory to produce oxygen. 
But again, see, this is the part, like, we did not place this in the best possible way, which is kind of like a big part of the game, because now we need to build, in order to build another factory, we're going to need another one of these. So alternatively, we could place the factory here, take over this slot, and then we would need to build a supply thingy in here. That's not particularly effective. Where do we want to have our factory? Can I destroy this? No, it cost me 50 of something that we don't have. All right, so I think we've got a, well, actually, we're gonna place it over here because we've got the capacitor and the silo. So let's get the, get the second factor. So actually, it wasn't such a bad build. We are sort of stepping over our coal. Oh, we don't have enough coal. So we're gonna need more coal. Let's build the coal there and we'll build a capacitor. Cause we gotta make sure we have coal. If we run out of coal, we run out of power and that's very, very bad. Now it looks like we're gonna need... Are we gonna need another generator? Yeah, we're gonna need another generator. So let's go get a generator next to a supply hub. We don't have any available supply hub. What is this? This is a factory. Generator. AI core, so we could build it here. It's not ideal because we're, again, stepping over something else, but it's going to be okay. So we are now producing. We're producing power, we're producing water, and we should have oxygen. Why don't we have oxygen? You, what do you need? We could make water. We're not making water because we ran out of what? I, don't, I think we just maybe didn't set it up. Yeah, so we now set it up to, or, or to oxygen. This is apparently oxygen, so we just need to set it up. Now we need to make food for this. We need a farm that we need to connect to the resource grid and click on it to proceed. Yeah, so we have to set up a recipe because it went automatically for the water recipe, which is not, not that much of a problem, right? But we just didn't have enough. I don't have that much coal. I'm gonna need another drill here. I'm gonna need to build another connector. Yeah, so we're gaining coal back. We have a lot of power. Now we should be able to build this farm. It needs a supply spot, which we again do not have. We have a supply up here. You could build the AI core somewhere. Do I need that? Right, well, let's start with the farm. Where could we place a farm? They're all capacitors. Maybe here. And we'll give it a supply hub over there so we can build another one next to it. All right, we've got low inda, which is not great. So we need to build a drill now over there. Now, here we can set this up to make, okay, we need seed. So we need to build, to build a cultivator to produce seed. Seed is made from moisture and sand. Well, good thing we have bo both moisture and sand. So now we need to build a cultivator, which is also going to have to be next to supply. So here we're now going to be gaining seed which we can then use in the farm. Now we can build a habitat connected to the power and resource grid then click on it to proceed. So habitat, 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 habitat. And people are so needy. That's what we learned in this game. Like so much stuff just so you can have like the AI was there immediately. We're not gaining much food because we run out of water very quickly. If we give you more sources of water I could. So I could build another drill here to get, no, not build, not extractor. And then we could build like an AI car. Well, we don't have an AI car here. Let's build a capacitor. Okay, let's build one there. So we're gaining a bit more water so we can make this food a bit better. Now we do need that habitat, so let's go back to it. Habitat. 
It's going to need both energy and supply. So I could place it here, get the energy from this capacitor, and then place a the supply hub there. I guess we'll do that. Go. You can birth a colonist for 200 water, oxygen, and food, after which a colonist will consume 0.8 of all three resources per tick. If you ever run out of power, water, food, or oxygen, your colonist will die. This will lead to an immediate mission failure. <laughs> yeah. So, we can birth... Do we have enough? 300... We need... It actually only says 200 here. Didn't it say 800 at the beginning? We have 1,000 water, 400 food, plenty of oxygen. So let's try to birth one. Yes. But our very first colonist. That was good. You learned pretty fast. AI was built to acquire knowledge. Indeed, we can leave this place soon. Hey, do you appreciate what you have? AI is a robot. AI does not have any possessions. I mean your algorithm. AI's algorithm is functional. Do you even know how it works? AI is unclear. That doesn't bother you at all. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Not, know, not knowing what you are. I mean, well, welcome to humanity, beautiful robots. <laughs> AI's only purpose is to learn. They do have a purpose though, which is interesting. Ha, if only I had your capabilities. We could do so much more right now. Mimi thinks AI's performance is unsatisfactory. How did you get that from what she said? But also, I love the way it changes its looks, like you said. No, no, not like that. Let's talk more to Mimi. Oh, you wish to talk? AI would like to further analyze Mimi. Drop that already. Anyway, I didn't expect you to come here. Don't you have more important things to do? There's nothing more important than you, Mimi. <laughs> AI is a robot. <laughs> I feel like these, they could have a great romance, AI and Mimi. <laughs> AI is awaiting instruction from Mimi. See, he's already good at listening. That's why, huh? But I am afraid you won't get any. I need a break every now and then. You won't get instructions? Come on. Robots do not require rest. Well then, I guess I'm just a weird robot. You're not weird, you're special. Besides, it's quite peaceful out in space. You're wasting the opportunity otherwise. I feel like she was talking about something completely different. It's like, he wanted instructions on what to do next. And she's like completely in a different sphere of conversation. Statement unclear. Yeah, I, I feel you, man. I feel you. <laughs> I thought you would understand. Glad you're having fun, Mimi. You being a robot and all. Are you not a robot? Affirmative. Seriously? Uh. Ah, never mind. But thanks for talking to me. Yeah, I feel like him. I'm like, what is happening in this conversation? I'm so lost. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do one more mission. Not many planets left to study. AI requests travel to a new system. Yes, we can do just that. I've almost taught you all you need to know. AI find statement above unsatisfactory. I'm only talking about the basics. Our real adventure is going to begin soon. There'll be plenty more to learn on your own. No, don't leave me, Mimi. Mimi's explanation is satisfactory. Good. But I'm not gonna travel another 7,000 years. AI may launch rockets. Rocket determines coordinates of new system. That's wonderful. Quickly, I'll show you how. I'm gonna build some rockets. To complete this mission, you will need to launch a rocket. Let's start by producing three, three, 300 sa and has. Sands and water? Remember to produce Inda and power first. Yeah, we know how to make Inda. We're good. So we got the AI core over there. So we'll start with the drill here and some capacitors. We'll get two drills immediately. And we're also going to need a generator. There is a good place. Let's maybe place like a bunch of generators here. You should be careful not to try. Uh, let's. I'm actually gonna place a couple of drills here immediately because I'm worried about running out of um, out of Inda. And now we're gonna place a supply hub there. And now we go. So we're getting plenty of power. 
Now it said that we're gonna need sa and has so sand and moisture. So 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 so. How are we gonna do this? We need an extractor for sand. Hey sand. No, I didn't mean to do that. No 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 no. This was a bad move. How do I get rid of you? You can you can make it go to sleep. Yeah, let's demolish you. Sorry, I don't, I don't want you. It was a mistake. I apologize for this big mistake. I want an extractor, a beautiful extractor with the capacitor. So we're gaining our sand. Now we need our moisture. An extractor here and a capacitor over there. This is actually a good place. We could get both Inda and Coal here. So this is actually, we may, maybe we should have started here. Seems like a good thing to have. Right, we're gaining plenty of power, we're also gaining some sand and we're gaining some moisture. Now, in order to build a rocket, I'm sure the tutorial will tell us at some point, but we're a smart robot, we can figure it out. Maybe. Produces Horm and Loya. And the rocket requires power and fuel. So we need fuel. How do we build a fuel is our question. Yeah, to build a rocket you'll need horn. Build a fabricator to convert it has and moisture and sat to horn steel. Okay, fabricator. Building costs not met, so we need a lot more. We now have Inda? How much Inda do I have? 98, yeah. I need to build a fabricator. We're gonna need supply and capacitor. So we're gonna place it here. And we'll go with a supply hub, let's say there. So we are gaining now. Horm or steel, which is used to build rockets. You can also use it to upgrade machines and remove terrain. All right, so we're gonna get... Actually, we don't need to set this up. This is set up automatically. Because remember, sometimes we have to pick the recipe, but we're actually getting steel immediately. Now we're gonna need 300 steel to build a rocket. Now, do we wanna build another one? How are we doing? We're still gaining a lot of moisture and sand, so we could theoretically try to build one more of this. Or to build it there. How much coal do I am I getting? Yeah, if I were to build another fabricator here, we would be on break even with sand and moisture, which is not a problem because but we're, we're running out of power, running out of power, running out of power, quickly! Generator! Generator! Good. Coal, running out of coal, drill. Of course I placed it over that thing, but we've got a, we've got coal here. We're all good. We're gaining coal again. We've got power. We're safe. We don't got power. More generators? Seriously? Go there then. Okay. Break even on coal, break even on water, break even on sand, gaining power. Perfection. We're getting some steel. We've got 355, which means I can build a rocket. What do you need? Power and fuel. So you need everything. So I'm gonna place you here. To launch the rocket, you'll need fuel and power. First, we need to look at pollution. Pollution is caused by generators. If pollution is high, your maintenance cost will increase. Build a vacuum to reduce pollution. A vacuum produces soot as a byproduct based on the amount of pollution removed. So we need to connect you to a power grid. This is a capacitor. This is an AI core. Okay, so we're going to place this there. To produce fuel, you'll need oil. A fabricator will convert coal and soot to produce oil. So first of all, I'm going to need a lot... Wait, where's my power? I'm going to need another drill for coal. That's obvious already. So we're gaining soot. We're gaining coal again. I'm going to need a new fabricator to get myself some fuel. Fabricators need everything, correct? Everything. So I'm going to place it right next to my AI core. And hey, I want you to make me fuel. And build a factory to convert oil into fuel. So we've got ourselves some oil. And then we need a factory. Factory. Factory needs what? Everything. Could I demolish this? No. Okay, so we need somewhere. We, we, I, do we need this fabricator? I'm thinking about demolishing it. Because we don't need that much steel. Like for the rocket, we'll need 200 power. And we'll need 400 fuel and 500 steel. 
And we're still gonna gain steel. Are you using steel? You're not using steel. Okay, let's, let's check this first. Here we wanna make fuel. For which we need soot. We are not gaining as much soot as we would or maybe hoping. Where's my vacuum? Yeah, we're gaining soot very slowly. I don't know if it's worth to try to build another vacuum. Or build another vacuum there. We don't seem to be really gaining that much more soot. How, how much fuel do I need? Oh, we've got oil. We've got 425 oil. Did I build a factory yet for fuel or not? No. Okay. Factory. I'm gonna build the factory there and give it a supply from here. So this factory is going to be making me fuel. Click on the rocket, you can add power and fuel to it in order to launch it. Okay, so if you click on the rocket, we can give it power. Oh no, we're losing power uh, generator, quickly. Uh, the generator needs what again? A supply hub. Uh, supply, bam. Okay, we're <laughs> very slowly gaining energy again. Okay, good, good, good. Now, Rocket, I'm gonna give you some fuel. How much fuel do I have? 260. Give you a bit more power as well. I can give you all the power. You need to wait for the fuel. Yeah, we still have plenty of oil, so I think we're good. And then we're gonna launch a rocket into space. Can we watch it? Look at that. Rocket in space. Nice. Great work out there. AI understands the basic of colony building. It's finally time. Rocket was difficult to build. Rocket is en route to a new system. Speaking of rockets, while you were busy, I saw a certain unnatural light in the sky. Alien life forms detected. Ooh, we've got aliens. Possibly, but what if they are just like us? AI is unconcerned about the possibility. Hey, you're not interested in this. We traveled seven thousand years. Statement unclear. You see, I've been thinking we might actually be obsolete. AI has a self-learning algorithm installed. AI will continue in the episode, update itself to maintain relevance. Ah, I guess so. Never mind it then. That's just a speculation on my part. Right now we have a new system awaiting us. Affirmative warp speed activated. Ooh. Proceed. Alright, so we're gonna move into the next system. I think we're gonna end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. And you can click on the right towards some other games that we play on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye bye.